2,800 uh, feet. It basically is a trail that just uh, basically follows the power line um, all the way up. And the cool part is uh, we just crossed where the Appalachian Trail runs. So um, that's the second trail we've been on that has uh, crossed the AT, uh, which is pretty cool, I think. All right, so we came off of that power line trail and then we were back on some hard surface roads, some highway, and we were supposed to uh, turn right on Dix Creek um, at Highway 2 in Dix Creek, and that trail has a gate across it again. So looking forward on the map, it looks like we're going to follow Highway 2 down, make a right on 197, and then hopefully that joins back to uh, where we're supposed to be. So again, uh, plan B, plan C. So the last uh, bypass we went uh, had that cool waterfall and the turn and a couple other things. So uh, maybe this will be a good one too. All right guys, so we uh, spent, um, I don't know, about a half an hour on paved road. I think we went uh, 20, 20 miles or so and uh, we finally we went past this beautiful lake lake burton um it's a mountain lake and it's got a campground around the back side of it which would i think be super cool to uh, stay at and we finally uh, got back on uh, gravel road and on uh, we're on chimney mountain um road and uh we're getting to a point where we're going to start looking for a campsite and uh, close up for the day. It's been 80 miles today on the uh, Georgia Traverse and it's been a lot of, a lot of driving and I want to unwind and I'm foiled again. So I don't know what we're going to do from here because we're on a trail and the trail is closed. Uh, so well after that block gate uh, we are finally back on uh, dirt. We're at we drove another 25 miles and made a left on Hatchet Creek and we're getting ready to cross the stream, hopefully to find a campsite soon. We finally found uh, camp for the night. Uh, today was a, a long day, uh, 110 miles. Uh, the, the trail where we crossed the creek last um, was kind of a dud, and so we kept on going, and we found this gem. It's a campsite it's right along the creek with a little waterfall in the back, and uh, we're really excited about it. So we've got a fire uh, starting, and uh, we're going to, Sam just ate dinner, so I'm getting ready to cook mine. Show you around camp real fast. Fire going. There's a creek in the background. It's like 50 degrees right now. So let's cook some dinner. Hey guys, I uh, hope you all have enjoyed the video thus far. Uh, we just finished dinner, I made some coffee. Sam is constantly trying to play ball. Um, but overall, it was a good day, it was a long day. Um, I think we were somewhere around 110 miles with uh, about 70 of those off-road. Uh, so it's it's been a long day. Um, good trails, good times. Uh, Tula Creek. Uh, was probably one of uh, the prettiest uh, places that I've been. Um, and then of course when we uh, crossed the river was one of the highlights for me. We also ran across a bunch of uh, closed, tra closed trail signs. Um, they kind of kept us from uh, going different places. Uh, but what that resulted in is the campsite we're at right now. We're um, up in the mountains, about 2,500 feet above sea level. 
Uh, we're right next to a creek with a little waterfall, uh, so it's going to be great music uh, for bedtime. So uh, tomorrow's day two. Uh, we'll see uh, where that takes us. Um, I think we're going to kind of do a dog leg and go uh, north into Tennessee. There's a storm coming, and I want to start heading back uh, toward home just in case it, it develops into what the forecasters say it might. So I got a cell signal for a little bit today. Um, again, one of the takeaways was have something for when you have no cell service. I'm using the Spot X. I like it. It works well. Um, there are others out there. And uh, um, just have something just in case something goes wrong, whether or not you get hurt, you get sick, uh, you can slip on a rock, uh, you can have a vehicle breakdown. Um, and it's nice uh, to know, you know where everybody's at. And like I said, the one thing I like about the Spot X is that it, it drops breadcrumbs and you can track it. Um, and uh, you can send messages uh, pretty easily uh, with it. So uh, overall, a good package, good day. Love how the kitchen is set up. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna drink some coffee, sit by the fire and just kind of listen to nature and uh, we'll see you in the morning. This is Dan from Fisher Deep Adventures. Uh, thanks for watching.